Yeah, Ollie, I'm just wondering how many, how much all those goals against Leeds at Old Trafford has done to kind of just ease you back into playing at home and, and give you an idea of it is home and I've got to, you've got to get results there. Does, did that whole thing help? Yeah, of course. It's uh, when the last game you played at uh, at Old Trafford uh, gave you six goals. I'm sure the boys will look forward to it. It gave gave us confidence that performance. In to- uh, uh, it also gave us a a little gauge on how how fit we are that we could match them um, fitness wise. So we we know that we have uh, loads of games in a short space of time. But Wolverhampton they've got um, even shorter turnaround this time. But they haven't had a midweek game. And I think last season we almost felt as though we were talking about Wolves every week. You played yeah. them the full time. They were tight games. Have your players now got more more solutions up their sleeves, do you think, to unlock those sort of tight games? Well, we've had so many tight games against them. And uh, we are improving, uh, definitely. We're getting better and better at uh, uh, finding different solutions in different games. Uh, but we know that uh, Wolverhampton, they've got quality as well, that they'll, they'll give us problems uh, if we, uh, we're too open. So uh, we've got to put a plan together. Rob Dawson? Um, and you've obviously had two tough games, Everton and today, but you've used the best part of sort of 20 players, almost all of your squad over the last week. That must bode well for the, the little run that you have got over a lot of games in a, in a short space of time. I think that was uh, we have to do it this way, and it's it's also good for the players knowing that we trust them. We do trust them playing big games, and uh, they're here for a reason. Uh, they're here to con- contribute, and this period everyone will will have to contribute this uh, or this season. It's it's going to be relentless. So uh, I hope that will uh, stand us in good stead. Yeah. James Zucker. Uh, hi, Ollie. Um it was obviously a difficult start for Harry earlier in the season, but you've been really pleased with how he's reacted in in recent weeks and the form he's shown because lesser characters might have struggled to get over that period. He, Harry is a strong character and a very good player, and uh, he's he's led from the back, if you put it that way. He's really been uh, been uh, putting himself forward, always want to play, he never wants a rest, and. Uh, He's really um, improved throughout the season with the team, of course, but uh, we can see uh, more and more maturity and more leadership from, from Harry every game. Thank you. Charlie Wyatt? Hi there. Just, just you know, more on Harry. I mean, how important has it been that he's obviously had unwavering support from you, but but also the, the England manager, because as you said, it has been very, very difficult. Uh, not many players have had to have what he's had to go through on and off the pitch, have they? Of course, it's uh, we. Uh, I support Harry, uh, and he's, he's such a good uh, human being, and he's, he's in there leading the dressing room. You, you see where he's, uh, he's very humble, hardworking. He, uh, he knows when, when he has to... Uh, hold his hand up, he's led from the front or the back, whatever you want to call it, he's, uh, he's really uh, gone out there and uh, been been a leader uh, in the team and uh, in the dressing room as well, so I'll always support him, I think Gareth will always support him and then let's, let's uh, just keep on playing football, that's what he wants to do. Ollie, you, you mentioned um, previously about uh, Cavani and this is how he's going to have to deal with it, but clearly he's a player of immense experience and played at the very highest level. Do you see him as a starter in your team or someone who is effectively an impact substitute? No, he's uh, definitely a starter. You don't uh, uh, classify a player of that quality uh, as uh, anything else. We've got plenty of starters, more than 11 starters, and that's the thing uh, when you're at Man United. You should believe in yourself, trust yourself. I trust him, I trust my players, and we've got good competition for places. And uh, he'll probably start more games than he will, uh, will not start. Thank you. Um, hello, Holly. You were talking about Cavani there. The um, commentators are saying, as, a, as someone who wears the number seven shirt, you know, you have to have real personality to, to wear that shirt and pull it off for United, as you probably know. 
is, is today's sort of impact off the bench another sign that he's um, got that sort of confidence in that stature? That was the first thing he asked me uh, when I spoke to him, uh, if he could wear the number seven. And uh, obviously we, uh, we talk about the, um, the history of the shirt. And uh, for me, with the history of his career experience that he's had, his personality, when, when it, the chat I had with him and when I watched him before, uh, I wasn't in doubt that he could, uh, he could handle that number seven shirt. He's uh, so meticulous, professional, uh, his habits, everything about it shows why he's had a career he's had. At the age he's now, he's still one of the fittest players we've got. Yes, um, when you have so many games uh, in such a short period, period of time, how do you manage to prepare your players uh, to the best of your ability? And, and also, what do you do between the games when it's so, so short between? Yeah, well, the, this year has been a strange one. Uh, when you play for Man United, you get used to the rhythm of playing, recovering, playing, recovering. Then again, I've got a big squad, so you have to... Uh, prepare them uh, physically uh, and mentally. we more and more uh, consistent in the way we play, the way we want to press, the way we want to be uh, on the ball and off the ball. So with the season as it is, there's not many weeks that you can have uh, preparation on the grass. So there's videos and there's loads of uh, good work by the coaches and the medical staff to, uh, to get them physically ready. And just finally on Edinson, Oli, I know it's around this time of year in January that the club tends to take uh, decisions on players, uh, whether to extend their contract by another year. The way it's shaping up, would you like to and do you think you'll keep him for next season as well? Well, at the moment, it looks like uh, he's got a few years left in him. So uh, I, I wouldn't uh, say anything else, no. He's, he's made a great influence, a great impact uh, when he's come here. So... Uh, Let's just focus on uh, on improving uh, everyone as as well. But he's he's got a few years left in him. Sorry, I think we've got a question from Andy who's struggling with the signal. Hi, Ali. Hiya. Can I ask you about Luke Shaw and in particular yeah. his attack and play in the last few matches, please? Yeah, Luke is one of those uh, lads with uh, strength and power and quality. And of course, we've down the left hand side, he's, he's uh, created a good relationship with, uh, with Marcus. Today, Paul came in on the left, and I, I think that changed the, the dynamic a little bit. And then that pushes, pushes Luke more on. He has to go more then, because uh, if you don't have a wide man in front of you, it's, it's the fullback's uh, responsibility. And I think he. Uh, he he grasps that now. Sometimes he's got to stay back more, and sometimes he's the, he's the one that goes. And um, I've been uh, I've enjoyed working with Luke for a, a couple of seasons now, two years, and he's he's a very very uh, talented boy that I I still still want to push on. Okay, 